In 1970, during a routine training mission, First Lieutenant Gary Faust found himself in a situation no pilot wants to face. During a routine training flight conducting aerial combat maneuvers, the aircraft entered a flat spin. The pilot attempted to recover, deploying the aircraft's drag chute as a last resort, but it proved to be impossible, prompting Gary Faust to fire his ejection seat and escape the stricken aircraft at an altitude of 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters. Now, here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Instead of plummeting to the ground, the plane continued its journey. Unmanned and soaring through the sky, it covered some distance before gently touching down in a quiet farmer's field. The remarkable part is that the plane suffered only minor damage, earning it a nickname that would go down in aviation history. The Cornfield Bomber. <laughs>